Hello, people of the internet. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a work work life balance. Um, what's that mean, um, and how important is it? Um, you hear a lot of conversations that, um, especially when you start out in three D VFX, motion design, any of that kind of stuff, that you really need to be focused and driven. And, and guided in what you're doing and then you have to spend countless hours and the 10,000 hour rule and you have to be in the office all the time studying and learning and growing. And and I went through that. Um, being self-taught, I sat in the office all the time. Um, I was constantly sitting in the in behind the computer when I was at home, um, constantly sitting in behind the computer when I was at work. I, I rarely left for lunch. Um, I rarely did anything but sit there and, and study and play inside 3D programs. And, you know, of course, now it's got dailies. You know, you have people that have full-time jobs and still will spend hours and hours and hours on top of that doing dailies and stuff. And and I'm not here to bash on that. I'm not here to, to tear down that idea. Um, but I think that there has got to be a balance. Um, lately, I've been doing a lot of stuff that have actually helped me with my mind and my focus um, outside of work. Um, how are we as designers, how are we have, as artists supposed to to influence the people that we're, we're showing our art to if we're never around those people? Um, if, if all I am is on the computer and I'm never actually interacting with people, how am I supposed to influence them or how am I supposed to... to um, to show them whatever path or sell them whatever I'm trying to, to sell them if I have no idea who these people are. Um, so I would suggest making sure that you set aside time, even when you're studying, I, I'm not saying don't study, don't grow, do, don't do those things, but even when you're doing those things, you need to make sure that you're getting off of the computer and going in and interacting with people. Even if those are people that are inside your field, that's fine. I mean, you can still go out to those events and those things and that gets you away, but you need to get outside. You need to like go for walks, um, try to go on a walk a couple times a day. Um, I try to make sure I have hobbies outside of just the computer. Um, for me, it's jujitsu. So I do jujitsu outside of that. Um, I also love cars. So I do a lot of things with cars. Um, but my main focus is my family. So when I'm not on the computer, I spend time with my family. I spend time hanging out, watching my son ride his bike or fly a kite or or do that. And I don't think about work at all. I, I try to remove that completely from my mind. And so that way I can go and enjoy the time at the pool or, or enjoy the time with me sitting there playing with him at Hot Wheels or whatever, or uh, spending time just sitting there watching a show with my wife. Um, those things are important. Those things make you who you are because you're not your art, right? So, so, so much of this industry says that if you're not doing these things and that you're not just sitting there dedicating every single waking moment working on your art, you're not getting better. And that's somewhat true. I mean, people that will sit there 10,000 hours a day, you know, or whatever, of course you can't do 10,000 hours a day, but if you're sitting there every single minute and you're getting – engrossed in your your work then of course your work's going to get better but are you as a person getting better i mean are you are you feeling better are you like i don't know like as a human as a as a person i feel like if i'm not if i'm not out in the world then then my whole focus is on my art which means then if my art is critiqued and tore down then that tears me down as a person because all of a sudden I am my art, right? So I am my art. Therefore, if somebody critiques my art and says something's bad, then they're tearing me down personally. And that's not the case. That 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 is something that will drive you into depression, that will drive you into to bad, bad thoughts and things about yourself, which is not true. And, and this field is driven by clients. And you know clients, clients are going to want to say anything they can about your work at any time. Even if it doesn't mean anything, they want to have a comment. They want to have a critique. And if you are your art, then those critiques are going to tear you down. And then you're going to be upset. You're, you're not going to want to do the things that you need to do to make sure that the client's happy. Um, because you're upset. Because you feel like somebody's personally attacked you. And so to, to defend that, I would try to make sure that you get out of the office 
and go do something like whatever that is if it's cars if it's if it's working out if it's going and hanging out with your friends or, or, or doing whatever that is make sure that you get off the computer that you enjoy that time off outside of the office because when you come back to the office you're gonna be so much more refreshed and so much more driven when you're in that office because you've set up your time properly so that way you're sitting there you're working hard when you're in the office and then when you're outside of the office don't think about the office. Enjoy the time outside of the office because more than likely you're going to come back and if you decide that night that you want to work on something, you work on something for a couple hours and then go get some sleep because your body needs that rest. And and so going forward, I would just say make sure that you set up your time management properly so that way when you're in the office, you're focused, you're driven in the office, but then when you're outside of the office, don't think about it. Get it, purge it completely from your mind and relax. So I hope that's a help. I hope that gives you a little bit of insight for me. Um, I spend, a, I spend a, a, a lot of time on the computer and I have for years. But over, over the past couple of years, I've really just tried to start separating that, that work and life. And so that way I can have a little bit more peace, a little bit more fun. I enjoy what I do more because I'm not 100% focused on that all the time so then when I'm doing it it's it's fun for me um, and so I hope that helps you guys too um, again comment like share subscribe um, I hope this is a help if you have anything that you'd like to, to add just please make sure that you put that in the comments because I'd love to hear from you